everyone, welcome back to my channel. The video today will be a little bit different than usual uh, because I'm prepared a trip to fly out Australia tomorrow. So I won't have a time to edit the videos. So what I'm talking in here is what it is. Uh, and um, the reason why I'm leaving because my mom, she in, uh, she very sick at the moment. She has been sick for a while or quite a number of years and but she really go downhill few days lately. She have really eaten much, uh and she can't really talk much. She got, you know, uh strokes twice and she got a lot of other diseases as well. So I've been away for a long long time, maybe six years since I last saw her like, in person. So I um, yeah, I just want to, to make the trip and maybe she will pass away very soon. Uh, so anyway, I just want to spend some time with her uh, and who knows she might you know pass away night when I'm on the plane Okay, so video today. I w would like to work with the um, around with you um, uh, Several things I want to mention that um, about my food tree uh, example my uh, two Asian pear tree, uh, two um, nashi pear, sorry, two nashi pear, they have been blooming for, for, I don't know, few weeks, two weeks at least, two weeks, and they're looking beautiful. I just see some bees, you know, jumping around during the days, but not as much, you know, neither a lot of bees, like last year. So I don't know if this year I will hear some fruit on us, but also this is the first year, uh, I, um, uh, I saw them in bloom like this. I only t planted them in this garden bed last year. I'm sorry about the shadow. Um, so we'll see. And also, I'm be going to be away. I don't know how long I'm going to be away. So I might, or my family over here, they might not able to, you know, protect them, you know, from the, uh, what is it, the fruit fly and other things. And my apple trees, and this is royal gara, looking beautiful, so lots of flower. I love the fruit, uh, but oh, look at that, I'm not sure you can see some bees jumping around there, but looking promising. Uh, I hope that I can come back in time to let the fruit, you know, otherwise this year all the fruit will get ruined. Um, yeah, but I have to see, um, you know, how the progress of my mom, you know, um, so I can't do anything about that. And my husband, he worked full time. My mother-in-law, she traveling down from Brisbane to Quenwa uh, at the moment, so I will see her in the evening. Uh, and she uh, will help me to water the garden. I will film the little clips, you know, like showing her all cause this area, how often I water them, how long I water them, and uh, things like that. And my daughter, she will be on a holiday as well. So she, she she very good at watering my plants, you know, so maybe she can give some tips to my mother-in-law. And always, you know, this garden bed, a lot of roses, they flushing out at the moment. Last year, uh, I, I think last week or so, uh, we got the temperature went down to minus four, and a lot of my new roses and my other old roses in my front yard, they got you know got burned so much by the frost, and a lot of them they turn to quanker, you know, just their stem just turn to purplish color. Example like this one, you can see. The, they turn to purple color because of the cold, uh, and I pulled it. Uh, it's very nicely, and now they all got damaged like it. I think because of the cold. So um, I we some of the roses I have to trim them down a lot, a lot. And luckily, some of them they are uh, you know they are uh, grow from own roots. So I think they will come back like this. But some they are not. They are uh, grafted roses. Anyway, uh, over here, I just want to give you some other highlights. Oh, by the way, uh, I will, you know, report a lot of Dania over there. Um, yeah, and some hydrangea over there today as well. I only have two days to prepare it because I'm flying out tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I don't have a time. I just want to give him you the quick video and I post it on very quick and uh, A lot of roses over here. They come from Wagner Rose. I watered them yesterday. I put some mulch on. These are sugarcane mulch. I haven't really fertilized them at all. I think they could be fine uh, because I use, you know, um, premium potting mix and I put some mushroom compote on the top as well. I think they could be fine as long as they got water 
Um, yeah, and I just uh, what uh, I what do we say? Uh, I did um, report near some of the roses over there, but many the area over here I report a lot of roses uh, because they were on the other side of my yard. They were more over the fan there. I'm not sure if you remember, but anyway, I dragged them over here and I report them uh, because this area, you know. I can put the pot, like sit on the soil, like this, you know, or on the grass, like this, and the uh, soil and the grass could make their roots much cooler than they sit on the gravels. And over that way, I got few veggie beds, and along the, uh, I mean, amongst with the veggie uh, beds, and I got you know a lot of gravels. They are at the, uh, they are on the ground, so um, the pot lay lay on the gravel. They can heat them up very quick, and especially they are in the, um, you know, black plastic container. So anyway, I repotted them yesterday, uh, and I put um, sugarcane mulch as well. I do need to water them, you know, water the mulch in it as well, so they not they can't stay in, uh, in one place. They're not flying around. Uh, some of my new me apple trees, example, this is the cockpit spinorin, um, that one as well. They were on the other side, and again, like in the like on the rockies, uh, what is at the gravel area. I dragged them over here, and this one, my oh, did I tell you? I bought two more apple trees, so I bought another Fuji um, um, apple tree, and this variety is super dwarf. Um, so it won't grow uh, big. It say here it grow around two meter high and one and point five meter width, and it's easy to grow in the pot or in the container, or uh, in the pot or planter. And uh, I got another one, super dwarf golden delicious, and I heard that this is quite sweet and nice as well. Uh, but I do love Fuji because Fuji they keep a long, long time, so we can put them in the cool place, uh, and we can eat over the winter. They uh, consume them over the winter. My friend yesterday she came over to help me to have it on the sprouting broccoli, uh, and that was really helpful because su yes, I was super busy. Over here, I got very, you know, very sad looking bay tree. This one is kind of under the eave in the whole winter, no moisture, and uh, in the spring, no moisture at all. I got the other one. This it's just like, like in in you know in the middle of nowhere, and it really sits now. The moisture from the air, so it's still looking much happier. But this one is stay further back, you know, next to the house. Anyway, I drag it out and water it yesterday. Uh, but I will water it again. Um, yeah, hopefully it will come back. Over here, my vernaculars, um, I repotted them. You can see that looking really good. Um, but the area over here, uh, they were there. There, there could be sun. They start from about well, eleven a.m. Uh, so the whole rows over here. Oh, by the way, this is my tomato seasoning. If you saw uh, the video, I divided them. Uh, the whole area over here, they will receive the sun from 11 a.m. until very late in the evening, even at uh, 5 or 6 p.m. So I think the rows, uh, rows over here, they will be okay. Um, yeah, anyway, some of the little roses as well over here. Uh, so if you remember, I received quite a lot of and uh, you know the little cans or little bad rooted rose from working the roses as well and among with the uh the big ones. Uh but anyway they're shooting up nicely. They did take a little bit longer. Uh over here yes as well. Uh but one of the rose chuckling so much I think this one is called Fiona Wish. Now before uh um it have a tree little stem like this. Oh no this one is kind of dying in the me in the middle of the can too, so I don't think it can survive. Anyway, I might take the picture as email to the company. Uh, yeah, the, this one got three tiny little cans, and then yeah, every time they got to shrivel and dying off, and then also we got a few nights of the frost as well, so it didn't, yeah, it didn't like it. Anyway, um, my apricot tree, if you will, but I put the fork frost cloth over it and I think I do have some food. Let me try to walk over um, if I can show you. I think this year I will have more AP cooked food than last year but hope that I can go back in time to net them. Um, look at that. Can, oh sorry, can you see this? See some food here? 
Can you see the food? Look at that. And all the food here too. Quite a bit of food on. And on this side as well. Let me show you. Can you see on the food? Yeah, that is for me. Oh, this one even bigger. Look. Look at that. Oh, so this is the second year. Oh, a lot over here too. That's really exciting. Ah, uh, yes, this is the second year. It's bearing the fruit. I'm so excited. This year could be, uh, so it only produces a flower, I think, on the third year, like last year. Oh, no, it's to produce a flower on the second year, but I didn't hear much of fruit at all on fell up because it's only few. And then last year, I got um, five or six fruit. It's were delicious, and this year could be the fourth year, uh, and the second year is bearing the fruit. My plum tree, I think, it's looking good, and I think I can have a lot of food from that one as well. Um, anyway, I think I might have to end the video here because um, the video getting long. Sometimes the video getting too long, and I can't open the clips. And when I can't open the clip, I can't post it on. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, let me show you my beautiful daffodil. Look at that. I don't remember the name. I'm sorry about that. But I got few. Um, they blooming different time. Uh, that one and this one as well. I think this one is very pretty too. Let me walk over here. Look at that. A really white. And look at this. And my um my uh I forgot about the name of that clematis there. Something amongdi um apple blossom clematis. Uh and look looking beautiful. It's has been blooming for a few weeks now. And um, the smell over there amazing whenever I come a little bit closer. They need they start shooting up now over there and they over there as well. A lot of my coriander they're going to start to sit very soon. So I try to uh, consume them as much as possible and get them away as well. Um I think uh, oh, one more thing I want to show you maybe before I go. This is another plum tree. Uh, this one, one of my friends gave me. Uh, this one, I have a lot of, you know, of fruit. Uh, you know, for it to be a little fruit. Last year, it did have a lot of flower. And not just that, all the rain got it. And I'm not sure it's like a pollination or lack of the, what is that? Or because of rain. And it didn't have any fruit last year. Anyway, uh, I hope that this year we don't have a rain when they in bloom like this. We will, I will have some fruit. Anyway, the area over here, you can see looking beautiful. I planted around 100 variety, uh, 100 daffodil bulbs in the whole area over here. And looking beautiful, they only bloom. This in the bloom much later, some other, you know, than other variety of my early uh, blooming daffodil. But I love it because, you know, um, it makes the garden very nice uh, because you can see that some daffodil there, they've already bloomed very much earlier than this. They finished already. And now the other one over here. This daffodil blooming me has been blooming for a week now. Anyway, oh, one more thing I want to show you before I go. This is Emelangia, uh, uh, or what do we say? Um, so it's very, this is the third year. And it's blooming every year. I got a lot of fruit this year. I think I will have more fruit than the other year because the tree is getting bigger. So that means they will be bearing more berries. Um, I think that is actually, I will catching up with you in the next video very, very soon. Maybe when I'm in Vietnam, I can, you know, film some very short clip of video as well. And uh, yeah, uh, I think that is. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next video. Bye-bye.